So hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another Power BI video. This is the coolest video I've done in a while. Here's the thing, I am going to show you how you can calculate which locations are the closest to a specific one. So for example, you know, Palma volcano erupted. Probably the authorities wanted to know which houses were closest to the volcano to start, you know, evacuating. Or you live in Austin, Texas, and you're using this bike sharing uh, service, and you want to know where your closest bike station is based on your position. Or if you're sales guys, you are selling salespeople to your customers, and you want to know which customers they have the closest to their location. I mean, the number of users is just insane. And it requires two measures, that's all. And you can get the coolest application ever. Let me show you, let's get started. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is actually what we're going to do. Let me show you. I have stored two locations. This is Austin, Texas bike service in the US, okay? And the green dot is my position. The blue is the closest bike sharing station based on my location. So I have stored two locations. There is a location table in here. So location one, location two. Obviously, the coolest thing would be, you know, to have a power app, click on a button, we'll take the location to Power BI, and then, hey, you find the closest location, right? Easy to do. If you want a video about that, let me know. So or if I pick, for example, my second location, let's say that I push the button on my power app, and this is my new location. I want to know where the north closest bike sharing station is. You get it. So not only does it give you the closest one, you can also pick other ones. You say, oh, I don't want that. I'm going up or I'm going down. Well, there are other ways you could actually have like highlight the closest stand or something. Many ways to do this. Um, this is the one I'm going to show you. You highlight the closest one, whatever if it's up or north or whatever it is. Okay. Okay. So stop talking. How do you implement this? Very easy. Do you have a need a location table? And this is where you will get the, you know, whatever power apps or whatever application will give you the location where you are now. And then you need a table with, in this case, it is with the, uh, where all the stations are, latitude and longitude. Now, because in a map you can only plot locations from one table, you need to append let me take you to your power query. You need to actually append your location into, in this case, the bike sharing stations, because otherwise you will not be able to plot your location. You might not want to do that anyway, and then you can skip that step. If you want to see both locations on the map, you need to append, okay? And it will make everything a little bit more complicated, but not too much. Okay, once we have that, the first thing that we need to do is to calculate where the closest point is based on our location. So what we're going to do to calculate is to use the hover sign, I don't know how this is pronounced, hover sign maybe formula that calculates the geographical distance on Earth. So you know that Earth is not flat, it's not, believe me, so you need to do the curve. And there is actually a formula for that. Okay, so here you have the formula for calculating the distance between two points on Earth. So you need to use this uh, equation in order to calculate it. Okay, so let's go back to Power BI. So there is actually no point in you watching me type this. It's going to take me forever, so let me explain it instead. This is the way it looks. So this part is the Haberstein equation. Already translated, you don't need to do anything. The parts that you need to be aware of is these. This comes from my location. This is the location that I, when I push the power up, it will bring it to me, right? So this is where I am. And this is where it calculates the minimum or the uh, bike station, in this case, location, okay? And this is all you need to do, that's all. Then you set this also as a variable, and it will do the calculation itself. What this is going to give you is a distance the distance to all the stations. Okay, so now that we have the measure that calculates the distance to the different stations, what we need to do is to plot them in the map and to differentiate them, we're going to color code them. So as you can see, my position is the green one and then the closed station is the blue one. And for that, I have this measure 
I'm going to show you what it does. Okay, so what we're going to do, I have here my location is filtered by one of the locations, otherwise you'll, you'll get crazy results. You put the station ID, you put the closest distance, and then you can sort them. So this is the closest distance. This is my location, obviously. This is the closest distance. And um, this measure, if I put it here, what it does is my location, which is a rank, I have a ranking. Uh, variable. So this will rank the distance. So this will be one, two, three, four, five. And then if the ranking is one, is my position the screen. If ranking is two, is the closest one, right? And then you have the other one. So you, as you can see, you can change this. So you can color the first three. You can color the, I don't know, it's smaller than five. And that will color the first ones, right? Unless there's ties and stuff, then you will have to be a little bit more careful, but it will give you more than one station. So this is it. This It's so cool. It's so cool. <laughs> the number of applications that you have with this solution is amazing. And obviously, you don't need to have one location matching to. You could have like multiple sales offices where the customers, the closest customers are, depending on which one you choose. You, you can customize this anywhere, any way you want. And the thing that does this is that one. Hallelujah for math. This is so, so cool. So, so cool. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video too. I will see you again on Thursday with another video tomorrow with Articulator on my second channel. So, see you soon. Bye bye.